What's up everybody? Wanted to jump on here real quick and give you all a quick channel update and tell you a little bit about what's been going on and what I have planned for 2023. I'm also gonna be showing you a little behind the scenes on a little photo shoot I just did uh, for these two photos that you're looking at right now. I thought you might find it kind of cool just to see how these photos went from looking like this little setup that I have here behind me to the pictures you're seeing on camera and uh, just kind of what went into it. If you're just looking at it, it looks like a whole bunch of stuff piled up, some lights thrown everywhere. And it's, to me, it's pretty cool to see how that can turn into an actual photo just by playing with the light and changing the perspective of everything. So that being said, oh, and check this out. I'm in a different setting in case you haven't noticed. Uh, I have moved from the garage to a new room that I'm working on that I'm gonna turn into my photo slash video studio. And that's a little bit about what this video is about. So that being said, let's roll a little B-roll here of this photo shoot and let's uh, get started. Okay, so for any of you that have watched any of my previous videos, these talking head type videos I usually do in my garage, quote unquote, studio. I, I do like the setup uh, visually that I did have out there because I have my setup as far as all my rods and reels and gear and had the cool little hangout looking spot there behind me, which I really liked as far as the, the picture video side of it. But Acoustically and functionality, it was very challenging out there. Functionality, when it comes to lighting and camera equipment, I had to set up and tear down for each shoot because we had to use the rest of the garage for just normal everyday life. So that was very time consuming and just made uh, kind of a pain each time I wanted to do a video because I needed to plan ahead and plus I had to account for all the time it took to get everything ready to make the video. The other issue I had was the acoustics out there. It's got, I think the ceilings are like 16 feet tall and there's a lot of ceiling space and a lot of wall space and there is an awful echo. If you've listened to some of my past videos, I'm sure you've heard it and yes, you can make it a little more acoustically pleasing, but that's a lot of money to do that on a surface area that large and just didn't make sense to do it at the time, especially since it's out there in the garage. Then the other thing that I've kind of, now that I'm talking about it, was thinking it's the lighting aspect out there. There's a lot of white walls. There's a whole lot of uh, windows there on the garage door. Uh, yes, I can cover them up, but it's just, once again, there's just so much to it to try to control the lighting. It limited me on when I could shoot. As I'm talking here, I'm thinking of more issues. Rain, that's the garage door right there. If we had wind and rain, it would be rattling over there. And uh, the list would go on of the, uh, I guess the negatives of shooting out there. So fast forward to where I am today and the room that I'm sitting in. This is my work from home office slash hobby room that I've had here for several years now. And I finally decided it's time to put away some of my old hobby stuff that I had in here that I wasn't using anymore and uh, revamp this whole room. So I'm turning it into my photo slash video room that I'll be able to use for all my future productions. And the cool thing about this one, I'll be able to set this up for the acoustics to make it sound 10 times better. Plus I can leave my lighting set up and I'll just have a ready to go space that I can come to anytime I want to make a video, which to me is a huge plus. It's going to save me time. And hopefully for you guys, it means I'm going to be bringing you more content more often. Now moving on to the photo shoot that I talked about while I was doing all this and getting it ready to start setting up for this new room. It's in here. I've hung up a new light 
uh, and I started taping off the walls to get ready to paint it and said, you know what, I want to play in this room a little bit with some of my studio lights and just do a little photo shoot of some products to get an idea of how do I want to use the space because I want to do product shoots in here. I want to be able to do my normal talking head videos as well as I'm going to try to start doing some uh, tutorial type videos just very basic talking about how I set up for doing my YouTube videos with fishing which therefore I want to set up a space so I can flip around to my computer setup and we can talk about that as well so there's a lot that I want to do in this small space and I said you know what the first thing I want to do let's just do a quick shoot in here see how much space I need to do just some basic product photography in this room and kind of where I want to position everything so set up did this little photo shoot right here which I'm going to show you guys and to me it's kind of cool how it turned out especially considering I just threw everything in here real quick set it took me about I don't know 15 20 minutes to set everything up took a few photos edited them and then the end result was pretty cool okay magic trick that light is now off and there's a uh, there's a sheet up over the ladder back there behind me that just magically appeared had to jump off here for just a second and uh turn that off and hang that back up because that's not part of the shoot and that is and i'm not going to turn this light down that actually lighten my face because then you wouldn't be able to see me because I had it pretty dark in here to be able to get the dramatic look to these photos but this will give you a pretty good idea so let me grab the camera here we'll zoom it back out and pull that off all right here we go so first thing I have my softbox set up right here which was a lot lower just to give a little bit of fill light over top of all the product I hung a black sheet up on the ladder that's back here behind me just to deaden that background where I had that white wall. And then I've got this little LED uh, video light that set up back here out of frame, which is shining through here to give those nice warm features in the photo and create that cool dramatic shadowing that you got having the backlit subject. Then if we spin around here, see on the floor I've actually got we got some other gear but got this light here I actually had it flipped over here shining off the wall and that's pretty much it as far as the lighting setup goes uh, it was pretty dark in here in the photos they get like I said the real dramatic look but after that just kind of positioned everything out here which I'm gonna pull this over so you can kind of see it doesn't look like a whole lot but when you drop the perspective down and kind of look through the frame, really uh, create some nice depth with everything here. And that was all it was to it to make the picture. Uh, it doesn't, like I said, look like a whole lot when you look at it top down or you have a, just kind of walk into the room, but you get down low, put that shallow depth of field, get some the lighting, creating the cool dramatic shadows and effects. Turns out to be, uh, in my opinion, a cool photo. So that's the setup for this little uh, photo shoot that I did in my new room. Okay, so the last thing I wanna talk about is where I'm taking this channel in 2023. Now, as far as it being a fishing channel and a catfish specific channel, that is not gonna change. That is what I love doing. That's what I don't see myself changing anywhere in the foreseeable future with this channel. But I do wanna bring a little bit more information to you guys. Uh, uh, everybody likes to watch folks catch fish, but instead of just making it revolving around me catching fish, and that's about all you see, I'm gonna try to take you on more of the experience from start to finish. So and it's more of a, I guess, a, a vlog or just a, a road trip uh, per se of the whole catfishing camping trip or whatever it is I'm going on. So I'm hoping that you'll enjoy that a little bit more and I'll just show a little bit more about what goes on and the time that goes into one, going catfishing and making these videos. The other thing I wanna do is what I mentioned a while ago. I want to actually show you all some good light techniques you can use while you're out there on the water, some basic editing, some of the gear that I use and my thoughts on it and just kind of make the channel a little bit more well-rounded for a little everybody out there so if you're looking to learn about making taking photos or shooting videos like the basics i'm, I'm not a uh, i'm not a cinema photographer from hollywood so i can't tell you it so much but i can help you when it comes to just doing some basic 
basic stuff. And when it comes to photos, I've been doing photos for, oh, I guess 20 years now. So I have a little bit of experience there that if you're looking for better fish photos or while you're out there fishing, you just wanna take some cool nature photos, I can help you with that as well. And some very basic lighting setups for <clears throat> at home and on the water. So that is kind of the plan that I have for 2023. And hopefully I can get this room set up here over Christmas break and uh, we'll start rolling in January and I'll have some cool content to bring you guys. Appreciate all you guys sticking around for the update. Leave any questions you have below in the comments. I love hearing from all of y'all. Enjoy this video. Hit the like button. If it's the first time uh, seeing my channel, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button if you're interested in the content that I'm going to be bringing. Thanks for sticking around. See y'all in the next video.